What's up, what's up, what's up, family? This is Ham Auto for you, and thank you for tuning into my channel as I am. I just wanted to come to you very, very quickly and just show you the technique I use when I am sewing my 3 4 part wig. Um, this is a dome cap. I am using a dome cap. And you can find these caps at Sally's for $3.99, depending on the area that you are in. What I do is I take a lot of T-pins, which are these pins right here, I take a lot of T-pins, I use a lot of T-pins to pin the wefts around so I will go um, smoothly. As you can see right here, I'm using brown thread on number one jet black hair and I try to keep the thread line very close to each other as I go around the head. Now this wig in particular um, is made by Harlem 125 5 Star Indian Remy hair which can be found at your local beauty supply store for approximately $65.99 and it's very inexpensive hair this is the hair that I use when I just want to do uh, um, a 3 4 wig and I use the string and I don't want to um, invest in a high priced or um, hair that's not so affordable for everyone. So um, I'm going to show you how to basically um, make this wig on an affordable budget. Um, the five star hair, you only need one pack. And one pack, I think approximately 60, 60 plus, less than $70 for one pack. Um, and the way that you do it is you just take your T-pins and you take the wefts and you put your T-pins in all the way around. Okay, when you get to the edge, what you're going to do is you're going to flip it back and continue sewing. So when I get to the top, guys, I will be back to show you um, how I actually sew the top. This will be a middle part and a side part. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, I'm up at the top right now. And... This is how it's looking so far. And I'm up at the top. And you see I made this line because that's my, where my middle part is. So now what I think I'm going to do. Sorry, trying to get the hair off the um, roll. Is I think I'm going to start to lay the hair this way like I'm doing an invisible part. And um, I'm going to probably start all the way down here. And I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until like right here. Okay, and then I'll be back showing you As that. you can see, I changed my mind on doing the visible part method, and I just decided to keep on going straight up. Um, but one thing I have to tell you, to keep the middle part long, I'm not going in full circles anymore. Actually, I'm going, I'm going sewing from the front to the middle, back to the front, back to the middle, back to the front. And uh, the way that I make it seem seamless is I bring this weft and I tie it back to the um, to the oval weft from the previous um, stitch. And that's how I'm actually making it look seamless. So um, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. You can see I already started to pin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to go up here and then I'm going to simply use the fold method which I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it back and come back this way until I reach that middle part. Once I reach the middle part I am going to cut it straight down and that's it. So the, the, the um, actual wefts are going to be like this close to each other. They're not going to be the big U shape that you see they're actually going to be almost touching each other when I cut it and then um, I'm going to take it from there so it's going to be pretty small of a U um, when I get done and I don't know if I'm going to use the method where you just put the string right here I don't know this is a wet and wavy hair so um, it's already pre-layered which I love so I didn't really I didn't have to do any cutting on this it's, it looks just like this I love it. Okay, so I'll be back um, with the finished product. Not installed, but just so you can see exactly how small I get this Okay, here. now you can see it's complete. And <clears throat> that's as close as I'm going to get. 
and you can see the string is right here the black string so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut up in the middle and make sure that everything around here is gone and so I'll be back to show you that as you can see it is completed and remember how I had that middle piece in there I just simply cut out that middle piece and now I have the string to attach it on my head and this is finished guys so I'll come back and I'll have pictures with me wearing it and how I style this wig okay once again this wig was done using five star Indian Remy wet and wavy 100% human hair and it's by Harlem 125 and this hair is from the beauty supply store and it's approximately 65 it's under $70 okay Thank